something rather important just happened the other day that I felt I needed to address, and so I'll get back to exposing the spirit of Antichrist in the SDA Church as soon as possible. But check this out. A historic interfaith covenant was signed in the Middle East on Monday, and the mainstream media in the United States has been mostly entirely silent about it. Sheikh Ahmed al Taib is considered to be the most important imam in Sunni Islam, and he arrived at the signing ceremony in Abu Dhabi with Pope Francis hand in hand in a symbol of interfaith brotherhood. But this wasn't just a ceremony for Catholics and Muslims. According to the British news source, the signing of this covenant was done in front of a global audience of religious leaders from Christianity, Islam, Judaism, and other faiths. Now, yes, students of prophecy have known about this One World Church for decades. In fact, I had a newsletter on this back in July of 2000 when they finally made the One World Church official with the Pope at the head of it. And so we knew this was to be expected, but when I look back at all the steps it took to get the Pope and the leader of the Islamic faith kissing on camera... Those that know how to connect the dots can do so regarding why the Vatican is doing all it can now to make the church look good in the media by reporting on things like Pope Francis admitting nuns were used as sex slaves by priests and bishops. He's putting forth this so-called moral image to set the stage for what's coming next. As Bible believers, we have seen every step taken by the popes of Rome that matched perfectly with Christian prophecy so as to assure that in the United States... Free speech is going to be removed. And this is especially true when it comes to religious speech. And so it's no mistake that the New Jersey Islamic leader stated that all Muslims should reject freedom of speech, freedom of religion, and freedom of the press just a few days ago. You don't make bold statements like that without first getting the okay from the head of the Islamic faith. You see, that's why they were having a global audience to let people know, okay, everything's set. That kiss between the Pope and Sheikh Ahmed al Taib confirms that stage is set, and they're going to go forward on this now. Now, as I stated in many videos, radio broadcasts, newsletters, and blog entries over the years, the Pope's plan for Roman Catholicism to be the law of the land in every nation on earth is a prophetic fact. And this is why I have been posting for years everything I come across regarding all this. And what I'm about to share for those of you watching the video instead of actually reading the blog entry, all of it's going to be linked out in my February 13, 2019 blog entry. And the link is going to be in the comment section below, of course. And just so you know, there is just too much to try and cover in this blog or even in a video. And so please check out those articles and videos on the following pages as soon as you can. First and foremost, see my Religious Laws Are Coming page, wherein you will see all the expected steps that were taken since the 2016 election alone regarding all this religious banter in the media. And then see my Pope and Islam page that covers decades of activities between the Pope and Islam. Then there's my page wherein I prove the Popes of Rome actually wrote the Quran. And then my Rome's War Against Free Speech page of just the last few years alone, well, that page is going to shock some of you. Next, see my Salute of Rome page, wherein I share pictures of Hitler's troops and Muslims saluting the Pope on camera. I actually did a video about those pictures, and YouTube banned the video in Israel and Germany for obvious reasons, as well as many other nations. And then check out another page wherein I show the real power behind the New World Order. Next, you might want to check out my King of the North page, and I mainly made that page just to expose all these false prophets out there that are claiming that the King of the North is Turkey instead of the Pope. They do this by refusing to show Bible verses to their followers, and so I put those Bible verses on that page. And then see my newsletters, and especially those titled One World Court System in Rome, Global Universal Power of the Pope, One World Church Officially Started, the Rome Statute of the International Criminal Court, Speaking Against Vatican Equals Danger, Universal Catholic Control, Guillotines in America, and by the way, that is an actual page on the website now, Uh, Church and State Can Cooperate, Pope Wants Control of the Global Economy, Vatican Seeks Global Supremacy, The Vatican, Islam, and Hitler, you wouldn't believe the comparisons there, Rome's Ecumenical Queen, Cultivating Papal Worship, Pope Playing the Muslim Leaders, Open Borders Keep the Vatican Afloat, United Religions Based in Rome, the Vatican's Fourth Reich, and finally a newsletter titled, 
the Vatican a huge moral authority. And that last newsletter from 10 years ago is why the Vatican has been outing itself so much the last few years, and especially now that the stage is set. You know, like the prophesied fake apology of John Paul II that brought millions of people back into the Catholic Church, the deceptive actions and statements made by the popes easily confuse political leaders to get them to believe that the pope is no longer out for blood when in fact they are and have been all along. I mean, according to the scripture, this beast will never change, but it will die soon. Now, I have literally thousands of pages and newsletters and hundreds of videos to share that also touch on the one world religion plans of the Pope on many levels. And I hope some of you that want to know what time it is, check out as many as you can so as to realize it was all prophesied. Hopefully this will bring some people to repentance so as to be ready for the coming of the Lord. The popes of Rome have slowly but surely brought all the apostate churches into one camp so as to get this done. And yes, this includes the Seventh-day Adventist Church, wherein we have literally confirmed Seventh-day Adventist documents proving they're not only helping the Pope's prophesied agenda, as my recent videos prove, were you also aware that some of the tithe money they collect is actually sent to the Pope as a show of good faith? Well, as prophesied, every false religion on earth must gather as a one-world religion under the man of sin in Rome so as to be used by Satan to come against the obedient remnant people in the hopes of forcing them to receive the mark of the beast along with everybody else. And they will do this from the courts to the pulpits. And this is why the Pope not only calls Muslims that kill Christians daily his brothers in the faith. And yes, this is why all denominations, including the Seventh-day Adventist Church, declare the God of the Muslims is the same as the God of the Christian, no less. When the Pope walked into that ceremony, holding that sheik's hand and then kissing him on camera, he did this to bolster their long prophesied stance against God's people to try and make them fearful that all the world is now gathered against them. But what they fail to realize is, our God has not given us a spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Thank you for watching. God bless.